Local artists, musicians, and tribal leaders from around northern Arizona gathered at the Orpheum Theater last Saturday to attend Rumble on the Mountain, an annual concert now in its third year to raise awareness for issues related to the lands of indigenous people of the Colorado Plateau. <laughs> In the Judeo-Christian story, life starts in the Garden of Eden. But out here, life starts right there. Our theory of the beginning of the world, the beginning of humanity in this world, starts there at the confluence of the Little Colorado and the Colorado River. Our paradigm, the entire Colorado Plateau, is a sacred landscape. Because this is the home of our ancestors, you know. This is our home. This is the home of our children. And I think what people need to know is how these lands have suffered and how these lands continue to suffer. What Rumble on the Mountain 3, um, our story, an indigenous history of the Colorado Plateau, our effort this year was to tell, you know what, we're going to tell you our story. We're going to tell you our story from the beginning. We're going to begin with our emergence into this land. At the beginning of time, we came into this land to leave our strife behind. Follow Masao's plan, he said. Don't worry, just be hope. Indigenous people, as you're hearing tonight at Rumble at the Mountain, um, have those messages, have those instructions, have those understandings. It's just a question of whether or not we're going to continue to tolerate a system that's built on you know, on the destruction, the decimation of Mother Earth and the people of the Earth. I really wish they would do this more often. You know, um, just people getting together and not just indigenous people, there was a lot of Anglo people here. And there's also an awakening within them, you know. And so we're, we need to help one another. There's gonna come a time when we will have nobody else but each other. Uh, they, they